Hi guys, it's May 7, 2018. I'm going to try and go through this material quickly. I'm not going to delve into deep. I will link below to everything that you need to look at more closely. Virtually everything on the market here in the United States is toxic. Mercury, it's not just in vaccines. It is in eye drops and ear drops, ear drops and nasal sprays. I will link below to mercury and drug and biologic products. This was 2006. We might have mercury and other products, but all of the brand names and the particular type of eardrop, eye drop, and nasal spray is listed right here. It contains mercury. This is pretty amazing. Now, the EPA considers liquid waste that exceeds 200 ppb's mercury as toxic and it needs special hazardous waste landfill treatment. The products on that list I just showed you, 50,000 ppb's, 50,000. And the EPA requires special throwing out of anything that exceeds 200 ppb, 200 ppb bees of mercury. 200, and these products contain 50,000. If you're buying something from a supermarket that is in a can, it may very well contain BPA, bisphenol A, a toxic chemical that is used to coat the lining of cans and that BPA leaches into the food as it's sitting on a supermarket shelf and then sitting on your shelf. There was a lot of uh, attention given to BPA a couple of years ago. So companies were trying to remove the BPA. We can't count on anything. Here is a list of canned foods. It's not an exclusive list or inclusive I should say, sorry. It is kind of exclusive because it's only listing a few. BPA, Eden Foods, which is considered to be, you know, a good company and sells healthy foods. They tried to get the levels of BPA that their suppliers were using to can their foods. And their suppliers came back and said, you don't have a right to that information. It's a trade secret. Okay, so if you're buying Eden Foods in a can, you don't know if it has BPA, how much BPA it has. If you buy Annie's, which is considered to be that small company that sells healthy food. Annie's was gobbled up by a major corporation. You no longer know if Annie's is BPA free. Lying is just what happens here in our country. So you buy something that says natural, organic, you don't know if it's natural or organic. Very often all you have to do is turn the product around, read the ingredients, and you know it's not natural or organic. But what if some of the ingredients are coming from China? Okay, well, that is a real problem because you won't know Imports from China have steadily increased over decades. 
we had imported our food from China and China can slap a label on our food imports as organic and then it's put on the market as organic and it is so not organic how much food is inspected imported food inspected by our FDA you think ah 70 percent 50 percent maybe 40 30 percent 20 percent in between 1 and 2.3 percent of our food that is imported is inspected. That means an awful lot of food is coming into this country that we have no clue what the hell the food is. So, foods, plastic, rice, fake eggs, and the rice that I have recently, over the last couple of months, I thought it was something, it, I, I don't know, look, I used to cook. I cook on gas stoves. So when you really like to cook, cooking on electric is, it's not the same. And since I've been in the South, you know, these electric stoves, I just, it's very hard for me to cook on them. I thought that that was my problem, that I couldn't get my rice to be the same rice that I used to eat. And very often I was noticing that the rice was not cooking. I would, it was still hard. I just figured it was the electric stove and recently I bought a bag of rice at another store that I usually buy it, buy my rice from. It was the same rice, though it was a bigger package from a different store. Which means that it could have been purchased or um, manufactured or their suppliers could have been different. I don't know. But I cooked that rice and it was an entirely different experience. And I was like, okay, what is going on here? But as I was eating the rice, I noticed that there was a lot of rice in there that was still hard. Plastic rice, no joke. And I'm gonna show you some videos, but the 10 foods made in China that are filled with plastic pesticides, cancer causing chemicals, uh, plastic rice, well, that's going to cause an awful lot of problems with your digestive system for sure. But we import 80% of tilapia fish from China, 80%. And tilapia is one of the worst most toxic and unhealthy fish that you can come across due to it being a bottom feeder but the importing of fish from China these fish are raised in farms in toxic water in like water that they don't even change water that contains feces from other animals cod 50% of American cod comes from China. And it's fish farmed. Farmed in China. Look, I there's only so much disgusting things I can look at, okay? You can do your own research to find out what, how, and YouTube videos, you can see how these fish are raised in these farms. It is truly Disgusting. 50% of apple juice sold in the United States comes from China. 
and China is the largest pesticide producing country in the world and they don't even address their pesticide or chemical residue on foods they it's just not you just don't do it do we here in America no processed mushrooms that you may find on your store shelf that say it's organic it's not and the US inspectors have found tainted mushrooms from China some manufacturers in China go so far as to label them organic but 34 percent of processed mushrooms are from China you know what is a processed mushroom I don't even know is it mushrooms in cans maybe Chinese garlic garlic I've noticed that the garlic is unusually big and very white well guess what 31 percent of garlic sold in the United States is from China and they spray it with chemicals and they bleach the garlic um, chicken in 2013 the US Department of Agriculture approved the sale of Chinese chicken in America and okay you can do the research you can see the chicken farms in China truly disgusting what they do to the animals oh are they any better than the United States no plastic rice fake plastic rice is being produced it is believed that it is actually made from potatoes and a fake synthetic resin when boiled the rice stays hard and doesn't cook like regular rice and long-term effects cancer mud sold as black pepper we get a lot of our supplements oh yeah vitamin C um, no joke we get we get pretty much all of our vitamin C from China so mud we get a lot of spices a lot of flowers a lot of stuff from China but you won't know that you can't know it and most of it is just not inspected industrial salt unfit for human consumption but industrial salt sold as table salt for 13 years industrial salt can cause both mental and physical issues hypothyroid problems and reproductive system disorders industrial salt sold as table salt green peas fake green peas in China found in 2005 we get a lot of our that frozen green pea stuff well they're not even green peas snow peas or soybeans with a green dye and a chemical that is used as a bleach and as a preservative and this dye is banned to use on produce because it may cause cancer as well as inhibit the body's natural ability to absorb calcium uh, 75 percent of rivers in China are polluted the air is toxic the sheer volume production of products that leaves a lot of toxic chemicals and byproducts as waste that leak into the environment and that's where a lot of the food is coming from how can you tell if your apple juice garlic or mushrooms are from China it's difficult to tell the only thing that you can do to know for sure is to shop locally and know know the farmer who has produced the food that you're buying um, the apples we're importing more and more apples from China 
The U.S. has recently moved to allow the import of Chinese apples. Non-organic apples are already being imported, but now uh, we're importing organic fruit from China that will likely pose health risks. Half of U.S. apple juice comes from China. And hey, those trade deals. Trump's a great negotiator. Chicken, more and more chicken is coming into this country from China. And I don't even want to read any of that. So here is a list that, you know, the most recent I could find was 2011. 2011. I think they're making it harder and harder for Americans to learn where their food is coming from. I could not find an update on the dangerous food imports from China. But if you want to take a look at the foods that we are getting from China, spinach is really bad. Um, and the percentage of the food imported. So we have millions of pounds tilapia, 263 million pounds imported in 2008 and it increased in 2009. 287 pound, uh, million pounds. China share of US imports 71 percent. The percentage of most products have gone up. So canned tuna, artichokes, pears, apples, canned fish, canned salmon, green peas, pears, uh, peaches, pineapples, and many of those foods are canned. Cherries, strawberries, frozen strawberries from China. Yeah, it's very, it, it's now a full-time job to figure out how to eat, how to eat foods that are going to sustain your health. Eggs. Eggs. I, I can't buy eggs anymore. I don't buy, I don't eat chicken, I don't eat meat, all that. Can't. Because virtually now, I walk into a supermarket, I have no clue what to buy. I, I don't have access to, you know, the stores I used to up north, and I don't have the money. So then you're stuck with looking at toxic food on the shelf. Hey, great. The produce, I go into the produce, I, I can't figure out what to buy. And I recently saw an article that glyphosate is all over our foods, our produce, except for broccoli. So I do eat a lot of broccoli. Fake eggs. And I do believe that we have fake eggs on the market. But how can you determine whether or not the eggs are real or fake? Fake eggs have a shiny shell. The shell is rough, so you just take your finger and if it's not smooth, don't buy it. And when you shake an egg, a real egg, you, you're not going to hear anything. But when you shake a fake egg, you may hear fluid bouncing around in it. And the yolk, when you crack it, is it stays separate from the white. Many fake eggs, when you crack them, the egg yolk is kind of mixing with the white fluid. Um, plastic rice being made.
can watch the end of that. Um, but listen to this woman. I made dinner for my kids. We were about to make some fried rice. I got all my meats, my vegetables, and I bought this rice. This is Iberia rice, Iberia jasmine rice. It's sold at um, most Caribbean outlets. So as I'm cooking the rice in my rice cooker, usually it takes about 15 minutes and my rice is perfectly cooked. So I'm cooking the rice and the grains are not cooking. The grains are hard, extremely hard. So you know, I put a, add a little more water to try and get them to you know, put it back for about 10 minutes and came back. The grains are still not cooking. So I'm standing here with my son and I took some of the rice. As I'm doing this to the rice, it's, it's literally sticking to my hands, sticking to my hands. It balls up very easily and it, it's sticking. It's literally sticking to my hands. Okay? So we just did this. Here's another one that we just made. And it bounces like a freaking ball. Okay? This is the rice that I was about to make fried rice to feed to my kids. The rice will not freaking cook. We can go outside and play freaking catch with the damn rice. Food and Drug Administration, y'all gotta do better. She this said, is about bullshit. This is bullshit. The fact that I'm cooking to feed my kids and it's this plastic shit that the Food and Drug Administration is allowing to end up on the shelves of our supermarkets. So we're literally paying to freaking kill ourselves. This is bullshit. Y'all gotta do better. Yep, I would agree. Um, Olive oil. Olive oil. Fake olive oil. Literally everywhere. Could be soy. Could be peanut. Could be any kind of oil, but olive oil. Very hard, hard to buy. Uh, what you have, the choices that you have on the supermarket shelves to know if anything is real anymore. And this guy, this video, you need to watch. <laughs> what are you really eating? All right. He goes into honey. Most honey that you're buying on supermarket shelves is not real honey. Coffee. Oh, laden with fillers. Orange juice. No longer real. No longer fresh. Steak that you're buying in supermarkets is not, you know, when you, I guess, how do people buy steak? You buy a particular, um, like prime cut or something. I don't know. Um, they're sold like that, but they're not that. They are actually, they're, they're remnants of a whole lot of cows that are put together with steak glue. Kobe beef, nine restaurants, nine restaurants have contracts with Japan to get Kobe beef. Most Kobe beef sold in America is fake Kobe beef. Um, he also talks about the olive oil. Oh, Parmesan cheese is not Parmesan cheese unless you buy the real hard imported very expensive Parmesan cheese. If you're buying cheaper versions you're not eating Parmesan. You're eating an awful lot of filler and just crap. Um, champagne. Champagne. Interesting that we are the only country that allows to slap on a label, call it champagne, and it ain't. Oh, it's some kind of uh, grape or fruit, or a grape, um, that is sparkling. And it's called champagne. Champagne, if it's really champagne, it comes from Champagne, France. So, 
Most Americans think that they're drinking champagne, and it ain't. Um, and there was a, a food quality investigation of what countries had the best foods and the worst. The best, Netherlands, France, Switzerland. Um, oh, and there were other, Switzerland, Denmark, the worst, United States. United States. It's scary what has happened to this country. Well, anyway, if you want to see how fake eggs are made, there was a big scandal in China. And I don't know if fake eggs, if we are importing eggs from China, but I do think that we are manufacturing our own fake eggs. And I'm sorry if I had to take a break from this video and not even sure where I left off, but everything will be linked to below. You want to watch them make fake cabbage? Fake cabbage. Wow. Let's pour a little bit of this green stuff on it. Ooh, yeah. And then we'll just curl it up. There we go. We're making fake cabbage cabbage. Could fake cabbage be on the market? Yes, it could be. Oh, look at that. Now, watch what we do. Here we go. We'll fold it up. We'll crinkle it up. And we will get it to look just like a cabbage. Oh my God. Could we be eating this? Yes, we could be. We could be. No joke. No joke. This is our... This is what the world has become because you know what? China import, uh, exports an awful lot of food. I think it's the number one exporter of food in the world to many different countries. There you go. Plastic cabbage. Wow. All right. There are many, many videos on YouTube. This woman in Brooklyn. Bought in Brooklyn. An experiment or is it? Food modification. This is where we are today. Natural cabbage just bought yesterday. I'm going to hunt it and put it directly over the flame. And it doesn't even burn, it doesn't. Next side. Even Over the flame. Black marks on it. I'm gonna put it again. Nothing. Cabbage still green. No burn. Over direct flame. No burn. And plastic. Oh, it's shining. Plastic. This is the cabbage. Burned cabbage over a hot flame. Didn't even budge. So imagine what it is doing in our stomach, our intestines, all our vital organs. Look, nothing. Look, you can see it shining there like plastic. That's right. Oh, and you know that the FDA approved. Uh, genetically engineered salmon well what's the problem with that well these farm salmon these farm raised salmon they are not eating in their farms what they would be eating in the wild oh and what they eat in the wild is what produces that pink color Farm-raised salmon is gray. How do they get it to be pink by the time it gets on that supermarket shelf? They inject it with dye. Artificial flesh color manipulation. Chemical treatments. 
artificially whitening seafood flesh or pinkening salmon flesh. Imported shrimp. Oh, we sure do import shrimp. All of our shrimp, all kinds of shrimp, whether in cans or fresh. And the imports from 2000-2009 from China raised, uh, increased 138%. Oh, well, guess what? We may be getting fake shrimp. They inject it. They inject it with this substance, this gel. Yeah. No joke. And they even have videos. Now these are shrimp that were injected to be of a heavier weight and a bigger size. Money, 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 money. Well, guess what? They're making artificial shrimp in China. And there are videos on that that you can just watch yourself. How about 18 genetically modified organisms you don't know about? Israel came up with a way to produce a chicken without feathers. And, well, that's more profitable because they don't have to consume any time to pluck the chicken because the chicken has no feathers. This is what we are doing. This is what the human race is doing. Watermelon, you can watch that video. Bananas today are not the real banana. Oh, and they're sold Del Monte organic. You can bet that Del Monte is not selling organic bananas. But bananas used to have little tiny brown seeds in them. Now I'm eating bananas that don't contain those seeds. You want to know what's in your bottled water? Do you know that I haven't even gone through all of the foods that are on the market as safe? Corn, we all know, has been taken over. Our corn is genetically modified. Corn is in so many products. It could not have gotten this way if people were sane and they valued more than money. Forget about all of the crazy elite that want to kill us and depopulate the planet. Think about all of the people involved in making these products, selling these products. There's an awful lot of very, very, very sick people in the world that really don't care about anything but money. And when that is your sole concern, you ain't a moral human being. And you are maybe living a comfortable life, but wow, the footprint of damage that you leave behind, it's big.